the amazing body systems. Inside this tent is something that holds it up, a frame. You have a frame too. It holds you up and gives you a basic shape. It's your skeleton. But unlike the tent frame, your frame doesn't stay put. It helps you move. To do this, the skeleton works with other body systems. What is a body system? Our body is made up of cells. Tissue is a group of similar cells that work together. Tissues that function together make the structures that form a body system. Every body system has a specific task that keeps you alive. A single system can't do it alone. They all work together. And for you to move, two systems must work together. Let's look at the amazing skeletal and muscular systems. The skeletal system. Our bones are organized into a skeleton, an inner or internal framework. Other animals, like dogs or snakes, have skeletons inside their bodies too. There is a whole class of animals that have skeletons on the outside. Insects have exoskeletons. Looking at an insect, it's easy to see that their exoskeleton provides shape, support, and shields them from harm. How does the inner skeleton do that for people? The bones of our legs and hips support our body weight. Our ribs support and protect our heart and lungs like a shield. The skull is like a helmet for our brain. There are 206 bones in the adult skeleton. The major bones are the skull, clavicle, ribs, humerus, radius, ulna, vertebrae, pelvis, femur, patella, fibula, and tibia. The building blocks of the system. Bones come in many shapes and sizes. Their shape is related to their job. For example, the long bones of your legs are strong to support your weight. The irregular shaped bones, the vertebrae, that make up your spine are shaped to stack one on top of the other. So your backbone is actually many bones working together. Bone is living growing tissue made of living cells and layers of tissue that contain minerals such as phosphorus and calcium. The covering of each bone has blood vessels that bring nutrients and oxygen to the living bone cells and take away the waste. Bones are hard, but are not all solid. They are layered in two types of bone, compact bone, which is more solid or dense, and spongy bone. Not a soft and squishy sponge, but with lots of holes, like a dried sea sponge. Inside the spongy bone spaces is a soft tissue called marrow. Yellow marrow is made of fat cells and is a backup energy supply for the body. Red marrow makes something your body needs everywhere, new blood cells. Red blood cells that deliver oxygen to all parts of the body and white blood cells that fight off the attack of germs. Bones are strong, but they can break. But bone is living tissue. So soon after someone breaks a bone, new bone cells begin to form. Within a few days, spongy bone tissue fills the space between the broken ends of bone. Over the weeks that follow, the spongy tissue hardens until the break is completely healed. Joints and connective tissue. Joints. A joint is a place in the skeleton where two or more bones meet. There are three general types of joints. Immovable joints, partially movable joints, and movable joints. Immovable joints are places where bones fit so tightly together that they can't move, nor would you want them to. Nearly all the joints in your skull are immovable, except for your lower jaw, of course. Partially movable joints only move a little. Your ribs connect to your breastbone with this type of joint. Movable joints are places where the bones can move easily. There are four kinds of movable joints. Hinge joints move like a door hinge, back and forth in one direction. Ball and socket joints can move more directions, even in a circle. The joint between your head and your neck is one of a kind, a pivot joint. 
It allows your head to move up and down and side to side. Gliding joints are found in your wrists and ankles. Here, the bones can slide against each other to move in all directions. With all this moving, why don't joints wear out from the rubbing? Connective tissue. Cartilage is a flexible tissue that covers the ends of some bones. This coating helps the bones slide smoothly against each other in the joint and cushions the bones from some of the jolts your skeleton takes. You also find cartilage in stiff but flexible places in your body, like your ears and nose. Ligaments are tough and strong straps of tissue. The word ligament means to tie. Ligaments tie the bones together above and below the joint, and they can stretch when the joint bends. Together, bones, cartilage, and ligaments make up the skeletal system. Did you know that in one way a baby is bigger than an adult? It's in the number of bones. Babies are born with a mix of about 300 different bones and cartilage. As they grow up and become an adult, these bones fuse or grow together to become just 206 bones. Keeping bones healthy. Your bones continue to grow until you are somewhere between 17 and 20 years old. To grow well, you need foods that are rich in vitamins and minerals. Vitamins help bones absorb the minerals like phosphorus and calcium that build them. Bone cells need to replace themselves all your life, so you need calcium and nutritious, vitamin-rich foods to keep your bones healthy, even after you are full grown. If adults don't get enough of these nutrients, they may end up with osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a disease that makes bones weak and brittle, less dense. They can break more easily. Your bones also need exercise. The work of carrying your weight and jostling about makes your bones grow stronger and thicker. Later in life, your bones naturally lose some of their mass. That's why exercise now will affect your health, even 50 years from now. The muscular system. When babies are born, they don't stand and walk right away. It takes strength even to hold up their heads. Our muscles help us move against the force of gravity. Together with our skeleton, they shield or protect our vital organs from harm. They allow us to move around. They even move things around inside us. Muscles are even involved in maintaining our body temperatures. Muscles are involved in all movement of our bodies, seen and unseen. The movement we see and are always aware of is done with voluntary muscles. Voluntary muscles move our bones and hold our skeletons upright against gravity. But even when you sit still or sleep, there is movement going on behind the scenes in our bodies. Your heart is pumping blood. Your stomach is churning food. Your lungs are breathing. The muscles involved in this type of work are called involuntary muscles. Different muscles for different jobs. Skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are voluntary and respond to the messages from your brain to move. They are responsible for the movement we see. Skeletal muscles are attached to two or more bones, either directly or indirectly, by a tendon. Tendons are tough cords of tissue. Take a look at the back of your hand. When you move your fingers, the cords you see through your skin are the tendons that connect your finger bones your phalanges, to muscles farther up your arm. There are over 600 skeletal muscles. Some of the major muscles are biceps, triceps, abdominals, back extensors, quadriceps, and hamstrings. But what exactly does a muscle do that causes movement? Muscle movement. When you move, your muscles contract or become shorter and thicker. The two ends of the muscle get closer to each other. Think of your fingers as muscle fibers. When they contract, they are shorter and thicker. 
Place your fingers on your bicep muscle and flex. You can measure how much shorter your bicep becomes. Remember, muscles are attached to bones at joints. So when this contraction happens, the bones move with the contraction of the muscle. Muscles only contract and relax. When muscles contract, they pull. They don't push. Skeletal muscles work in groups rather than alone. The bicep contracts and it moves your radius bone closer to your shoulder. Your tricep contracts and it moves the radius away from the shoulder. To help each other out, all the muscle can do is relax. Think of a tug-of-war game. Each side is pulling, like a muscle pulls when it contracts. To let the other side win, you don't have to push. You just stop pulling and relax. This movement is started by the hamstring contracting. You can return to a stance when the quadriceps contract. The simplest movement uses or recruits many muscles. Doing everything takes more muscles than you think. There are 50 muscles in our face alone that help us make all those silly facial expressions. Even walking takes a lot of muscles. Just to walk recruits about 200 muscles. If you walk a long way, your skeletal muscles will eventually get tired. There is a type of muscle that never tires of working, and it's a good thing it doesn't. Cardiac muscle. This special type of involuntary muscle is found only one place in your body, your heart. Your heart is a hollow organ with four parts or chambers in it. The walls of the heart are cardiac muscle tissue. When they contract, they squeeze blood out of your heart. The blood delivers oxygen and nutrients to the cells in every part of your body. The blood also picks up waste that your cells need to get rid of along the way. When your cardiac muscle relaxes, your heart fills with more blood. It takes less than one second for your cardiac muscle to contract, to beat. So, it beats about 75 times a minute. In just one day, your heart beats more than 100,000 times. And it beats without stopping for the rest of your life. And as long as your cardiac muscle gets enough nutrients and oxygen, it doesn't get tired. Smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is the third type of muscle in your body. This involuntary muscle tissue lines your internal organs and blood vessels. They help these organs do their jobs. For example, the smooth muscle in your lungs squeezes the air out of the lungs and helps you breathe. There is smooth muscle throughout your digestive system. So everywhere, from your esophagus to your large intestine, smooth muscle moves the food and wastes along. Your iris, the colored part of your eye, has smooth muscle tissue too. This automatically controls how much light is allowed into your eye by opening wider or closing down. So the picture you see isn't fuzzy, but sharp. Not too dark or too light, but with just enough light. Cellular view. Under the microscope, you can see how different the cells of each type of muscle are. Skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscle tissue all look very different. And although they all do very different jobs, they all contract and relax to do them. Keeping muscles healthy. To keep your muscle cells healthy, they need good nutrition and a reason to be. So work them. Skeletal muscles like to be the boss. They need to move bones around and pull their own weight and other weights you can add. Cardiac muscle needs exercise, heart pounding exercise. Although your heart is beating while you sit and watch TV, it's not working at its capacity unless it's having to beat fast to keep up with the needs for oxygen and blood. Exercise that makes you sweaty is good cardiac exercise. Smooth muscles are all about nutrition. The muscles lining your blood vessels are harmed when you consume fatty foods. They can't do their job of pushing the blood along if they are clogged. Fats build up in them. Then the blood can't get pushed through with the oxygen and nutrients you need to survive. Let's review. 
bones, cartilage, and ligaments together make up the skeletal system. Where two or more bones come together, there is a joint. Joints can be immovable, like the joints in your skull, partially movable, like those found where your ribs connect to your sternum, movable, like the hinge joint at your elbow, or the ball and socket joint at your hip. Ligaments attach to the bones above and below the joint and keep your bones from coming apart when you move. The muscles in your muscular system can be classified as either voluntary or involuntary muscles. Skeletal muscles are voluntary. They respond to our conscious choices to move, stand still, run, jump, or catch. And they are attached to bones by cords called tendons. Involuntary muscles carry on the behind the scenes jobs of pumping blood and moving food and wastes. They are the smooth muscles in your organs, or cardiac muscle, the heart. These muscles are not in our control to make them stop or go. Together, our skeletal and muscular systems provide support and shape for our bodies. They shield our vital organs from injury, and they are essential to all movement. They are amazing!